This video will look at how to find the flows and subflows that are triggering a notification in ServiceNow. So I'm in a notification record and I have this custom UI action here, which is show flows that trigger this notif. And so I have a couple of flows, uh, one flow and one subflow that I are, uh, that I uh, have a send notification action and it is sending this notification. So if I click on this, uh, it goes, runs the script in the background and then pumps this out into the, uh, into a uh, info message here. So test subflow and test flow. So I can click on either one of those. And it brings me to the flow here and you can see this send notification action is here and the notification is test notification. Um, so I will paste a link to my, uh, to an article on my site that has the code. Let's just go and take a peek at it here. So edit UI action. And basically what it's doing is it's looking at the syshub action instance table. Uh, where the action type is this, which is send notification. And then it goes through each of those uh, instances or each of those records. And uh, the actual sysid of the notification is buried in a, um, I think it's like a JSON object, or I'm, I'm not quite sure where that is, but uh, it's buried all the way down here. And uh, so then we just want to find where it has the same value as the notification that we're on. And then it just puts it out into a uh, uh, info message here. Um, if we just take a peek at that table, syshub action instance, so we'll go from here. And I have this sorted by created. Um, so we can see the ones at the top. And so here's the flows, right? Here's my test subflow. Here's my test flow. And um, action type is send notification. So if we go into one of these records, uh, we can see that uh, here on the form, it displays the notification here, test notification. And so the way I figured this out is just with the uh, SNUtils, you know, just double clicking to get the name and it's uh, action inputs, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, dot notification. So that's what I'm searching on. Now, interestingly, if you go into the XML, uh, and this is sort of the mystery to me, the action inputs field is actually blank. So I'm not sure how that is linked here. Uh, this is some newfangled uh, ServiceNow stuff with the you know, flow designer and, uh, and now experience framework. Like it's not like the old way anymore. <laughs> so there's stuff buried in a JSON somewhere. I'm not quite sure how that works. If you, if you know, put it in the comments, I'd love to know. Uh, probably figure it out one day, but uh, that's basically how it works. So I'm just cycling through these records and uh, figuring out which ones use this, uh, have the notification of the same notification that I'm on. So that's how you do it.